Hi, Julie here from RV Tips and Bits. Um, today I was going to show you some things that we did to the tab for some storage ideas. So under the kitchen sink we wanted to add a shelf and then do some pullouts. Um, it was not that difficult. We did have to remove the punch out knob on the bottom door but uh, they really fit well and they click back in place when you push them in. They um, go into a click mode and so they don't roll out when you open the door or when you're traveling. Uh, real nice. We we're going to put like the plates and you know different things that are more shallower on the second shelf. That back wall does curve so the top shelf can be further down um, but that the second shelf there with the the narrow opening that's about as low as it can go because of how the wall curves down. Um, we did add a little bit of a shelf there up at the top. Um, we did use brackets. Um, they are different color brackets. We kind of use what we have around and try not to overspend, but I'll put some links uh, referencing some good brackets for you. We did have to take out the doorknob there, um, and then we moved the metal magnet forward, and then what we're going to do is put a little block of wood in there and then screw the handle back on. There just wasn't enough clearance for the uh, punch-out mechanism that they have in there. Um, but it should work out just fine by uh, screwing in a little uh, block of wood and um, having a permanent fixture versus a punch-out one. It'll be held together by uh, a magnet, so when you shut the door, it'll just click on that magnet because you brought that brace forward. The next thing we did is we added a closet rod over our shelves to hang these baskets. We've done this before in our motorhome and it really works out well. You might think that you don't have clearance when you open up the door, but you actually do. Um, you usually keep lighter things in there like magazines or you know your phone or whatever, but you can clearly open the door and shut it and it's not really a big deal. It's kind of endless what you can do to hang up there just temporarily as well. Um, you, you just, you know, buy the rod, get the uh, the brackets that go on the ends, and pretty easy to install. I'll have some links for that if you need it. You can definitely pick them up at Home Depot. Just always be real mindful when you're putting uh, holes or screws in the tab as to how thick that wall is before you do a final drill. And the next thing we did was we added actually a cabinet drawer handle that was nine inches wide and it was pretty easy to install because you just install it like a cabinet door except it will just go through the other side of the wall. Drill your holes, measure, obviously use a level. It's much easier to have two people to do this because to reach around and be able to drill the holes um, and tighten the screws is a little bit of a challenge if you're trying to do it by yourself. But yeah, it comes out real sturdy, um, ready to hang and use it as you wish. You can uh, hang them while you're stationary and then obviously put them away when you are driving. So here are the products again. I'll go ahead and put the links on below for a, a source for you. Um, again, something just pick up at Home Depot or if you have an Ikea near you, but otherwise I have some links if you want to get them off of Amazon. Obviously you can get these in the stainless steel or brushed nickel besides just the wood. You can also get the rods and a, a matching brushed nickel if you would prefer. Um, this was a nice handle. I actually wish I'd used this one versus the Ikea one. Uh, I like this one and um, here are the hooks that match those. Uh, the wood, you can, uh, again, Home Depot, um, you can actually order this online too. And they have this cool place that will do it to the exact size you want. And it wasn't too expensive. Um, brackets, basic brackets, or you can get a little bit better. Again, I kind of wish I had used these brackets, but I used the ones that we had around. Um, these screws are really important. These are the ones that are going to go on the side of uh, the refrigerator so they're just the right length so that you do not puncture into the refrigerator side so you might want to definitely order those. These pullouts were awesome. Uh, it took me forever to find the exact size that we needed. Um, there's a lot of variety out there and you have to be careful of the way some of them um, take up too much space for the brackets. These worked out really good um, again, the magnetic strip that you would get here to shut the door, the bottom drawer. Uh, this will come in handy for a lot of different things. 
I'm going to have a video coming up about uh, a dog uh, or a pet screen for the windows using magnets. Um, I understand people have tried to use Velcro and it's become very messy, especially with the temperature changes. So uh, I think I've come up a way to um, fix that and we'll have an upcoming video. Please subscribe and uh, we'll continue to share things that we are doing. Thanks so much.